Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So earlier this week, Microsoft rolled out our latest Patch Tuesday security updates for Windows 10 and Windows 11. And already Microsoft is finalizing our next optional bug fix C release updates for Windows 10 and Windows 11 in the release preview channel, where the updates are undergoing their final testing before they release to stable. And for Windows 10, the update is KB5063842. And because they are now in final testing, I would suggest that the updates would roll out to Windows 10 and 11 starting Tuesday the 26th of August in that final week of this month. Now, because we are reaching the end of support of Windows 10, the updates for Windows 10 are quite a lot at this stage, as I like to call them. Not much really going on. There are two new features that are listed by Microsoft, but... I wouldn't personally call them new features um, when it comes to front-facing features. But nonetheless, um, I'm just going to go through all the fixes and improvements because it's just a handful. Now, as you may well know, for Windows 10 and Windows 11, with the backup app, we now get transfer information to a new PC, which hasn't rolled out completely yet because this feature is in user testing stage, full version coming soon. So it's not really working up to scratch. But in regards to Windows Backup and transferring your information, there is a new Windows Backup for Organizations, which is now generally available with this update according to Microsoft, where Microsoft says with this you get seamless device transitions with enterprise grade backup and restore, whether you're refreshing your organization's devices, upgrading to Windows 11, or deploying AI-powered PCs, Microsoft says this solution helps sustain productivity with minimal disruption, ensuring business continuity and organizational resilience, according to Microsoft. So that's the first of so-called two new features. And then the next new feature is the update adds a new feature that allows customers using the Windows 10 keyless commercial ESU solution alongside a Windows 365 subscription to block outbound network traffic Microsoft says this enhancement supports compliance with zero exhaust policy. So both the new features are for businesses and enterprises. Don't think that will really be of much interest to your average home user. And then just to mention the improvements and the fixes. Once again, they've updated the mobile operator profiles. They fixed an issue that affects how certain supplementary characters appear in Windows text boxes. There's a multimedia fix for an issue where mf.dll failed to enumerate redirected web camera devices on remote desktop services environments. And then there's a fix for Windows Hello, which involves the narrator. And Microsoft says that they fixed an issue in which narrator was reading the incorrect name for the enhanced facial recognition protection checkbox under the facial recognition setting. And there's a family safety fix where an issue has been fixed where the asked to use approval flow was not being triggered for blocked apps. Microsoft says that with this fix, the approval flow now appears as expected when a blocked app is accessed. And there was an issue where the removable storage access policy may not work properly. That's been fixed. And we also get a fix for an issue with the Chinese simplified input method editor. Now, with this last issue that Microsoft is addressing with this update, I've actually been experiencing from time to time at random intervals where Microsoft says it's fixed an issue that might cause the Windows search pane to not show the preview pane correctly. And I've already experienced that twice today where this is blank. So I'm very happy that that is getting addressed in our next optional update. So guys, so guys, that's more or less what's new with KB5063842, currently in final preview, rolling out to the stable over the next couple of days for Windows 10. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.